Today we're going to create this interactive report where I can check things off or check them on and the check status either removes the items from the total summation or adds them into what is an actual dsum function. So let's get started. On the street, we've already added the check boxes and they were added by using the developer tabs insert form control tool. What I'll do now is link them to the cell. I'm going to choose this first checkbox, format that control, and link it to the cell just above. That way, as I check the checkbox on or off, it populates the cell above. It's true if it's checked or false if it's not checked. Next, what we'll do is create this criteria area where the region will populate the name of the checked item. So what we're looking for is to see what the status of this cell is. And if it's true, if it's checked, copy the information right beneath it. For that, we'll place the cursor in the spot we want the first one to show up, North America, there in column G. And on the formulas tab, we use the logical if function. Our test is here, cell A3. Because if this is true, we want to copy North America. And if it's false, we don't want to do anything. So logical test A3. And if true, copy the contents right below. Now, if false, we don't want it to literally do anything besides put the word, put a dash in. So because I want that dash to be literally included, I'm putting that dash in quotation marks. So now as the item is checked on, it puts in North America or unchecked, it's nothing at all. And we populate the other ones with similar if conditions. So each of these checkboxes should generate either a true statement or a false statement. And when true, copy its contents over into column G. And when it's false, place just a hyphen. So now we're ready to put our desummation function in. And we'll place it right here, just to the left of that. The desum function, you'll find on the formulas tab also. In the, if I click, well, click on insert function and have it look for desum, press go. There we have it. Now, for the function arguments, the database, which I'll click in that field first, is this entire table, which I could click and drag to select. Or, since I already took the liberty of naming that range of cells earlier, I'm pressing the F3 key, that's my name key, to just choose that name off the list. So that's our database. For field, the field is the column to be summarized. In this case, that's the amount column. So I'm going to type in the word amount also in quotation marks, because that is not a field name. In this case, I mean it for it to look literally for the column called amount. And lastly, criteria. I our criteria is this range right here. Region and any information it finds beneath region up to this point. The way that the DSUM works is the criteria, when it finds on multiple rows, it treats as an OR condition. So I'm essentially saying either look for this region or that one or that one. Press the OK button. And let's see if it's working. According to this, Asia is generating 6,1498. If I uncheck that, we go back to seeing nothing. Europe is generating 19,000 plus or minus. Europe and Asia together is this summation. And of course, to complete the picture, there's no reason for the person who's receiving this report to see these additional controls. So I'm going to hide row three. The true statements and untrue statements still work. You don't have to see them any more than you have to see column G, which I'll hide also. And there you have it, our interactive report. The person can just check on or check off the items. And no active X was necessary, so it's saved as a regular old XLS spreadsheet.